Hi everyone, it's Don and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, the ultimate Royal Caribbean, ultimate world cruise just passed a milestone. And I got a big question, a huge question. What the heck happened with the drama? Where's the drama? That's right, in December of 2023, the end of last year, it was all the rage, it was all the talk in the world, Royal Caribbean's ultimate world cruise. 274 nights, 60 plus countries, eight wonders of the world. It's gonna be on the serenade of the seas, and it can, it, it's ultimately expensive, but it's the ultimate, the longest world cruise out there. And everyone was talking about it. And everyone was excited to see this thing. And uh, wow, wouldn't it be great to do that? And the pros and the cons of basically going for almost a year, <laughs> pretty close, uh, on a cruise ship. And then the, the drama started, uh, where people went on board for segments of the world cruise. And they expected the exact same perks that the people who were staying there for the entire cruise were getting uh, or they didn't understand cruising for instance going into the pinnacle lounge and being asked to leave why because you're not a pinnacle member maybe yeah that's why you were asked to leave or hey guess what a particular perk for being a certain status with royal caribbean is you get bottled water in your room restocked every day but if you're a brand new cruiser who's never cruised, you haven't hit that status, you don't get that every day. You would have to pay for it and order it every day. And people who have never cruised, who were covering the ultimate world cruise, were complaining left and right and calling it drama, the water drama, the coat hanger drama, you know, the missing ports drama. They had a, a big heavy rainstorm one day and part of the top deck got flooded drama right it was all about the drama and i'm not i'm not gonna you know rag on anybody for doing that because it was getting the views it was getting the clicks if you were trying to create a channel or grow a channel like a tiktok channel or a youtube channel and you were on that ultimate world cruise and you put drama in your title you were getting the views, you were getting those clicks and all the power to people and everything. But at like the first month of being on that cruise, we never heard a positive story coming from the Ultimate World Cruise. We heard nothing but negative stories, fighting on board, infighting on board, elitist class members looking down on other people who are only on segmented cruises. TikTokers not being treated right, and you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Missing ports, rough seas in the Drake Passage. Yes, <laughs> you're in the Drake Passage. Uh, poor weather, rough seas, we couldn't get in the port. Oh my God, the Ultimate World Cruise is not going to one port out of the 200 they're going to be visiting. And that's all the drama we heard. It was over and over and over again. And I said, well, what's happening with the, with the Ultimate World Cruise right now? Well, currently they are in Barcelona today, um, July 9th. And I look for the drama and I don't see any. It's gone from showing the drama, drama, drama to, hey, Today we're in Oslo, or today we're doing this, and hey, this is how I spend my day. And talking about the actual cruise and the itineraries. The drama seems to have completely disappeared. And maybe it's disappeared because the people who were originally on it were there for those views and those clicks, and kind of helped with the conflict. I'm not going to say cause the conflict. I don't, I wasn't there. I'm not going to say that, but it just seems like right now the people who are on board are having a fun time.
They seem to be enjoying themselves. They seem to be enjoying the ultimate world cruise, going to various places around the world. Now, people ask me, Don, would you do this? Wow. Well, first of all, it's on Serenade of the Seas, which is a slightly older Royal Caribbean ship, a slightly smaller ship than, say, the for sure, the Quantum and the Oasis class and the Icon class. However, uh, it's still a nice ship. It's a little old in the tooth, shall we say, but they're not going to put you on the Icon of the Seas and do a world cruise on the Icon of the Seas. I mean, that ship is sold out left and right for a year. So... Would I sail on, on uh, this type of itinerary for that long? The trouble for myself would be is I'm a big show person, right? I'm a big Broadway show. I love the theater shows. I love the game shows. And I think that's the point where they would have a hard time keeping my interest because they're not going to have a different Broadway show every week for this amount of weeks. Uh, like, it just hit over 200 days at sea. A lot of people forgot that the World Cruise was even happening, but they just passed 200 days. That means they, they're into like 70 days remaining left on this cruise, and it's done, it's gone, it's over for the ultimate World Cruise. And I don't know, like, I could, I could live with the food. I think I would gain a billion pounds I absolutely, even if I'm doing my 10,000 steps and going to the gym, the, the food on cruise ships is rich, right? It has a lot of, it's hard to get uh, like a certain diet and stay with it, especially when you're on a ship and you're being tempted by all the food all the time, <laughs> right? Uh, you can't be good to your diet all the time on a cruise ship. You can for a week, you can for 10 days, 274 days is a little bit of a different story, right? And also, the theater shows will be good the first time, the second time, the third time, the tenth time, i probably not going anymore. <laughs> but they have been bringing on various entertainers at different stops. It hasn't been always like the same um, singer would come on and have their own show or the same band would come on and have their own show. They, they've brought different comedians, different places, but the Broadway shows kind of remain the same. You cannot change Mamma Mia, for instance, right? Uh, if it's on your ship, you're not, you're not doing Mamma Mia one week, Grease the next day, Cats the following week, and then, uh, <laughs> I don't know, uh, it, Wizard of Oz, the following one. You're, you, you just can't do it, and no one should be expected to do that. So that would be a big downfall for me. As long as the internet was working okay, uh, I could do my job, I could do all that. That's not a problem. I would love to visit all the countries. I would love to go on like a 100-day world cruise and just show everybody the various ports and all the excursions you can do and the wonders of the world. Absolutely, that would be amazing. But personally, I think I would get bored as far as being entertained. There's only so many times you can go in and do bingo. There's only so many times you can go in and do, you know, the beanbag toss or line dancing classes or do a game show, right? There's only so many times you can do it in a row until you get bored. Now being on a cruise every month and a half, every two months, even every month. And on different ships, you're seeing a variety. So you don't get bored. Even though I've seen, for instance, if I, if I talk about Princess Cruises, I've seen Bravo and Encore probably 40 or 50 times. However, it's always a different cast. So there's always something a little different. When you're on a cruise this long, it's the same cast. Maybe they change out halfway through and you get a new cast, but that's only once. That's not, you know, every time you go. So, yeah, it makes a difference. But I'm very glad to see that it appears that the drama of the Ultimate World Cruise is gone. And people can now just get back to enjoying 
their vacation and enjoying an ultimate world cruise because it really is. I mean, 60 countries, eight wonders of the world, almost a year at sea, that is definitely an ultimate world cruise. Well, let me know in the comments down below. Could you do it? Could you do it? Forget the money. Forget somebody's paying you to go. Like, here you go. You can, you, your cruise is covered. Could you last 274 days on a cruise ship? Or do you, is there anything that might get you bored and make you want to get off? If you're seasick, you're definitely not that person who will go on this cruise. But, uh, yeah. I, I digress. Let me know in the comments down below. And until next time, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more tips, more tricks, more travel blogs from around the world, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have yourself a safe and a great vacation.